you remember this is what the sign looks like now you can actually see the fluorescent light that's here and here and in the late evening and nighttime it's even more prominent i really don't like that look so i'm going to get the sign taken down get my tools all set up and then we'll go into how i got electricity to it in the first place and then my remedy for this that i hope works i'll be right back with you I got the sign off and you remember in a previous video I talked about taking some measurements and figuring out the circle where the actual T and the star are on the Texaco sign. I wanted to use white paint in the backdrop for reflective purposes. And I mounted these lights using a little metal snap bracket it comes with them but it didn't look like it was sturdy enough so before i screwed it down i put a plastic tie wrap behind it then i screwed it down and connected or pulled the tie wrap completely tight to make sure it held good these lights are made to daisy chain together so i was able to only have to feed this from the end of this I bought a six pack of these fixtures from Lowe's. They're Utilitech. They're the same lights that's hanging there now. And they're $16.99 a piece at Lowe's. They're three feet long. And I think they're gonna work out fine. That's what we're gonna use. We're just gonna keep those and move them and add a few more. So I'll get right back with you. This is what I'm using to make the brackets out of for these lights. It's called step flashing and it's easily purchased at Lowe's or Home Depot. There's the number in case you ever decide to purchase any of these. They're cheap. They're already bent in a L shape. Galvanized metal, pretty sturdy. It'll work for what we need. Now, this light was hanging facing this direction. Now it's going to sit like this. So what I did was cut a bracket out of the step flashing. And I'm going to mount it to the fixture at the top. There's those little holes right there I'm going to put a screw through. I'm going to set it like this. And then, once it's sitting in the position I want I'll drill a hole right here and I'll mount it against the wall and I think it'll sit just fine be right back with you okay guys so here's the deal I got the four fixtures mounted the way I want them And here's the brackets I made. It's the same on every single one. All the way around. And it was a pain in the butt. However, at the end of the day, I think the light will diffuse like it's supposed to. I've got my circuitry going in. And once I get the sign hung, I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'll go over with you how I picked up the electricity for it. Hang with me, guys. This has been a beat down, man. I've been on this all afternoon. Be right back with you. Okay, guys. The only way I'm going to know for sure on this sign is to wait until it's late in the evening 
close to dark. I'll uh, get back with you when the sun goes down. We'll see what this thing looks like. Right now, I honestly believe it's going to be better than it was, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll get back with you. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, good morning. So, it's Saturday, July 2nd, and I came out early this morning. I've been up since probably 5.30. And I wanted to look at my sign and see how it was lit up. <clears throat> and it looked great. But I walked up close to it and I noticed that there was I could see some smudges or something. So I went and got the Windex and some paper towels and started wiping. And I realized then that it was on the inside. So my wife is some kind of pissed. But I pulled the sign back off again. And I'm going to clean up the inside and do some touch-ups because I noticed around the edge of the red circle you could see some spots where I guess over in the past the paint had got scratched a little bit or something. While I've got it off, I might as well fix it complete this time. But it, the lights that I put on there that you can see behind me in the background, they worked fantastic i couldn't be more happy now it, it gives just a dull glow like that one up there and that's what it's supposed to look like i mean uh, those signs if you remember as a kid if you're anywhere close to my age you can remember driving down the highway and these square texaco signs like this are made to be up on a 50 or 60 foot pole and you could see them off the side of i-40 and they they weren't like just neon bright or anything but they just gave you that good old texaco glow and that's what i was actually looking for so anyway i got my red bull i'm getting ready to get started i'm wanting to do the rock on uh, paint the rock on the deck today but i got to get this done first so let's get after it well I don't know how I managed to always, always get stuff all over me. So we're going to let this sit for about an hour. It, you probably can't tell much. There's a lot of spots, but they're all tiny. They were just letting light escape through. I'm hoping that'll do it. Anyway, we'll hang the sign and I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. I'm wanting to hurry up and finish this. It's starting to get hot, and I'm wanting to get started painting that rock. So I'm not going to fool with this much longer. I may just have to live with it. So my only worry was that the white on that is pretty translucent. Even just the slightest fingerprint or stain on this backside shows through on the front. So I'm hoping that my places where I put the white dots doesn't show up dark. I'm hoping that will at least give a white color. I don't know. We'll see. It can't be any worse than it already was. So anyway, that was a learning experience for me. I hope you got some good out of it. And uh, we're going to move on. I'll show you the finished product when we get there. All right, guys, it's been about an hour. Or it was about an hour. And I went ahead and Put the sign back up. You've already seen me take it down, what, three times now? So, we're going to go around here and I'm going to show you what it turned out like. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, for a sign this old, I mean, I don't know what you'd expect. That's what I keep telling myself. So, this is the finished product. It looks really good in the evenings. And at night, it's just got that soft glow that I was after. If you get up really close, right here, you can see a few spots where, like I told you before, I was afraid that it wouldn't, it wasn't going to be translucent, but I don't care. It looks good. I love that sign. 
my buddy Max Hosey got me that, and I love that guy. He knows I'm a sign guy, and he he tries to uh, fix me up whenever he can. That thing was laying out in somebody's yard, and he was helping a buddy of his clean up. They're getting ready to sell their house or something, and asked him what he was going to do with that, and he said he was going to chunk it in a dumpster. Can you freaking believe that? And I rescued it. I love my baby. Okay, so while I got you on the horn here, I'm going to uh, flip the camera around and walk you through exactly how I got electricity to it. Uh, I'm going to start in the she shed, and you'll understand why in just a minute. Just hang with me. So when you walk around... What do you think about that big ass flamingo my wife got to float around on? She's so precious. So you go in, take a hard right, and you head into the she shed. I gotta turn the light on. Hang on just a second. And this wall that this mural is on. The sign is mounted right on the other side of that wall, and I spent an entire weekend hand painting that mural on her wall for her as a surprise, and I just didn't want to bastardize that thing and uh, desecrate it by drilling a hole through the wall anywhere to get power to it, and that's the reason why I opted to do what I did, and I'm going to show you right now what's going on. Here we go. So I knew that I had electricity in my shop already. This place is a dump right now. Please forgive me. I've got so much going on. I really need to clean this place out. I do that about once a month. So there's a panel <clears throat> sitting just on the other side of the wall from where those receptacles are located. I got my welder receptacle, some other duty receptacles, and my light switches for my lighting in the shop. And so what I opted to do early on, I came out of, this is an LB, I came out of here, I ran my power up across the ceiling and back down to that J box carried it on down and made a 90 and fed my receptacles for my workbench right here. So what I opted to do was to come out of that J box and run a separate conduit down and penetrate the wall right there, which led me straight into the sign. It was such an easy deal to get that lit up. Now, this thing is probably going to be lit 24 hours a day most of the time, but if I opt to want to turn it off, then that bottom switch right there will turn it on and off. I typically don't do that. And one of these days I may mount a photo eye somewhere and tie it into the circuit, but that's it. It's a wrap for this particular video. I hope you guys got some good out of it if you decide or come across an old sign and don't think that it's that difficult to uh, mount that thing and make it light up. It's a little bit of manual labor, but all in all, it's well worth the effort. That really added up some pop to my uh, shop. I got most of my license plates mounted on the shop door and you know what, where that paint is coming off and that green is underneath it, I was going to repaint the whole thing, and my wife told me she'd kick my butt if, if I did. She likes that patina look. Kind of matches everything else around here anyway. But anyway, that's a wrap on the Texaco sign video for Oklahoma. This is Shaw signing off.